Leonard Melodino's book, The Drunkard's Walk, is an entertaining and well-written history of statistical thought and theory. And on the first part of the book, he, he goes through um, a couple of reasons how randomness occurs, looking at large and small numbers. Uh, but, you know, something that is quite sobering in how you deal with your investments. Um, we all got money in superannuation or pension funds. And he shows a performance of, say, the top, I think it's the top 800 uh, fund managers in the U.S. Uh, in the year 1991 to 95. And they ranked from 1 to 800. And as you can see, you've got some top ones there and the bottom performance as opposed to um, a, an index. So these these perform on the line, actually perform um, as per the index. Uh, the next five years looks what happened. They take these same, they keep them in the same order, um, and you'd think if you put your money here with these fund managers, they would do better. But look, in effect, what ha actually happens, how random it is. And that's very sobering, and that's the... That's the um, you know, when you read a book like this, you realise there are very few things that are stable and actually in our control. But his book is quite, um, it kind of motivates you because there's a couple um, of, of great things he does. It's a great explanation of why in hindsight things, things seemed so obvious, but the st at the start um, wasn't. Uh, an inspirational conclusion that he drew was that the idea that failure and success are both influenced far more uh, by random chance in what we normally believe. Now, how to deal with it? Um, uh, he believes success is under our, our control only in the number of chances we actually take. And, um, but, and here's the thing he says, for, for every coin weighted towards failure, um, it will sometimes land on success. And uh, we've seen this at the Olympics, you know, people who have worked really hard and have bad luck, and then people who have worked hard, got to the Olympics, uh, weren't seen to win and actually have have won. So he, he kind of concludes that we will win, we will succeed as long as we keep putting ourselves out there, uh, knowing that the reason we fail is often no reason at all, but merely dumb luck or chance. Should, and this should help us overcome uh, the agony of defeat and keep trying until the dice falls our way. So it really is about, you know, keep on playing, keep on going out there. I think this is one of the most sobering books I've I've ever read. If you think you have control of your, your life, think again. Um, and it's, uh, you know, he is a mathematician. It's very well written. You'd, there isn't a formula in sight. Um, although in the first part of the book, you know, it, you can just kind of skim if you're not that interested in the sort of mathematical history behind his theory. Good book and well worth a read.